lot of contracts. I'm a business lawyer. I see myself as a trusted advisor, as a general counsel. I don't like to go to court. My partner likes to go to court. I like to keep people out of court. And so people come to me all the time. They're like, oh, I'm doing this big deal, but I don't want a complicated contract. And you know, frankly, I'm like, why? It's like, you ever walk into the dentist's office and you're like, I want you to clean my teeth, but I don't want you to clean it very much. Like, that makes no sense. You walk in, you trust the dentist, you say, dentist, give me what you would do if it was your own family. So I wish people would say that to me, because I would say, listen, it all depends on what your liability is. It doesn't matter what the cost is. Now, cost is everything, everyone has a budget, I get it, but hear me out. So someone comes to me and I say, how much could you lose if everything goes wrong? Well, I mean, I don't wanna think about that. Okay, fine, then don't think about it. Put your head in the sand. So if you think about this, the amount that people should spend protecting themselves should be inverse to the amount that they could be exposed in a terrible situation. So let's talk about it. You're doing a deal, right? If everything goes sideways, you lose your entire investment. You lose the um, amount of time that you put into it, right? You maybe lose other opportunities, right? Other opportunity costs that you could have put that money to work somewhere else. You could have spent that time on something else. You get into a litigation where you have to pay for a lawyer and then maybe you lose and you have to pay for the other guy's lawyer too. And I start adding this up and your simple deal all of a sudden looks like it could be a very complicated deal. Um, and, and listen, if you don't want to think it through, that's fine. Maybe you don't need a lawyer. Maybe you just do it on a handshake. Maybe you go to legal zoom and you download some free shit. I don't know. But the reality is if you start thinking it through like a business person, then you're like, okay, that's my exposure. So how much should it cost to protect me? Now, I'm not saying that the lawyer at the front end should be such an outrageous amount that it should outweigh the opportunity, but it shouldn't be zero. It shouldn't be zero. It should at least be 1%. I mean, think about it, right? So a guy comes to me and he goes, well, what do you charge to do a business transaction? Like, I, I wanna buy this company. And I said, well, generally speaking, it should be about 2% of the purchase price, but listen, it depends. Because if you're buying a business for $50,000, the amount of due diligence and the amount of lawyers and accountants you're going to throw at the problem is going to be a lot less than if you're going to do a $50 million deal. Some of my friends work in Fortune 50 companies where they're doing five to $10 billion deals. Do you know how many lawyers and accountants get involved in one of those? Right? So go back to my $50,000 guy. If I say to the guy, listen, 2% doesn't make any sense, right? Because 2% of 50,000 is 1,000. So I'm like, listen, to do a decent job, it's going to cost me $5,000 of attorney's fees and we're not that expensive. Um, and, and then he says, well, you know, that's 10% of the deal. I'm like, yeah, well, listen, like I said, what if it goes sideways? What if you lose the 50,000, you waste all that time and you get sued and you have to pay your attorney and their attorney? I promise you it's gonna be a lot more than 50. It's, it's going to be. It's gonna be closer to 250, all right? So now we do the math, we're talking 2% of 250. Okay, now it's a, it's a more reasonable estimate of the amount of time. Because remember, legal due diligence is not to pat you on the back and say, hey, great deal. It's like when you buy a house. When you buy a house, the home inspector's job is not to pat you on the back and say, wow, what a fantastic house. Their job is to get under the rafters, to, to find all the problems. Do you know why? So that you can negotiate a better deal because you're buying, right? So, well, oh, the inspector said that there's a problem with the wiring and there's a thing with the roof and a thing with the plumbing. And all you're really doing is you're negotiating the price. It's the exact same thing with due diligence in a corporate transaction. I want to know about all potential liabilities. I want to know about all the employees they've had for the last couple of years. I want to know about all their contracts, their landlords, the previous investors. Have they been following corporate formalities? And you're going to tie two hands behind my back and tell me to do that on a shoestring budget? Not even worth it. I won't expose myself to that liability because you'll just sue me for malpractice when things go sideways. So in order to do it right, have an open mind. Think about what it really costs. And then we can negotiate a fair price. So guys, thanks again. Um, this has been 5 Minutes with Eric. Please, I'm right here in Miami, Florida, but we have offices in Bogota, Colombia. We have one in Orlando, one in West Palm, one in Washington, D.C., one in downtown New York. So give us a call um, and hopefully I'll talk to you soon.